This conference will now be recorded. Namaste. Today I'm going to be speaking about how much of Sanskritam is actually required by a serious spiritual seeker. How much of Sanskritam does one need to know to understand the scriptures and navigate through the vast literature? These are my personal reflections, my thoughts. I have gone through this journey and so I thought it is important for me to put down my thoughts here. There may be other ways of getting to the same place, but what I have presented here is my journey. Why is there a need for this presentation? Because we have very limited time and I started the spiritual journey several decades ago amidst a very busy career. Uh, I knew how to read and write Sanskrit, so thought it was sufficient. I had studied Sanskritam in school, but I realized as I went along that I needed a lot more Sanskritam to understand some of the advanced texts as well as the Bashyams. And further, if you want to teach the text, it becomes extremely important, especially for teaching. Uh, so learning Sanskritam becomes an important aspect of this journey. It is said, Ananta Shastram Bahuvedi Tavyam Alpascha Kalo Bahavascha Vignaha Yatsara Bhutam Tadupasi Tavyam Hamso Yatha Shira Mivam Bhurasho. So this shloka says, Ananta Shastram in the Vedic tradition of Sanatana Dharma, it is very, very vast, right? So the Veda, the huge literature, it consists of Rig Yajur Sama and Atharvana Veda, and they have more than 20,000 mantras and we have very few actually left with us now and this is the primary literature and there's so many layers of secondary literature uh, which are based on the Vedas. We have Smriti, we, in Smriti itself we have a lot of Puranas, Itihasas and in the Vedas, as part of the Vedas, the last part of the Vedas, we have the Upanishads, right? So there are several layers uh, that one needs to study and time is such a huge issue. And further, Bahavashya Vignaha, we have a lot of obstacles also. And yet Sara Bhutam Tadupasi Tavyam, and it's not possible for all of us to learn everything, right? And we have to decide how much we need to know uh, for our journey and how long will it take to get there, right? So considering all these, while the scriptures are themselves so vast and we need to understand from a guru how much to learn and how to get there in order to understand the scriptures to a reasonable extent we also need the knowledge of sanskritam so this presentation is just a result of my personal journey and experience over the last two decades and a very important aspect is um, Today, there's a lot of emphasis on spoken Sanskritam. It's wonderful, beautiful experience to speak in Sanskritam, but over focus on that can actually be negative, right? The reason is uh, in order to speak Sanskritam, we kind of focus on the easy part of the Lakaras, or in fact, we try to let go of it and use Tavatu or, you know, Gatavati, Patitavati or those kind of uh, you know kridantas because it's easier to get through with them while you're speaking but the fact remains that we need karmani prayoga sanantas usage of long lit etc to understand uh, some of the texts the prakarana granthas as well as the bhashyams so it is important for us uh, to note this point i'm not saying that one should not speak in sanskritam i'm only saying that if our goal is different then we have to make sure that we equip ourselves with that knowledge in the limited time that's available 
Now, there are different types of students, right, um, who are embarking on this journey. There could be someone who's a beginner, who's not at all familiar with Devanagari scripts. So their journey starts at a different place. Or it could be that I have studied Sanskritam in school, but over the years, I've kind of forgotten or I don't remember everything. So what should I do? Or it could be that, oh, in the last two years, I've completed four levels of Sanskritam exams. And so I think I have, you know, mastered a lot of Sanskritam. It could be either of these. So why is Sanskritam required? First of all, to pronounce correctly, to understand basic terms with the original intent, right? And to deconstruct the verse itself into prose form because you cannot read, if you just read how the verse goes, you won't be able to get the meaning of the, uh, the verse itself. Then to understand and also translate the verses in the scripture's voice. What is the scripture intending to communicate, right? And to understand and appreciate the vyutpatti of words. It's basically etymology of the words. And then to understand bhashyams, vyakhyanam, etc. And as well as to understand texts using Sanskritam as medium of instruction because some Acharyas will teach us in Sanskritam. So, where do I begin? Right? So, where should one start? Whether you're a beginner or a person who's learned in school or a person who's completed three, four levels of Sanskritam. Right? So, a beginner who is not familiar with Devanagari scripts, okay, uh, it's going to take a lot more time. So, for this, in Pravesha, in Samskrita Bharati course, the time spent on learning Devanagari scripts is very less. So, you might have to do a lot of work before you even embark on this. Uh, the course in Vyoma on Pravesha or Samskrita Shri level 1, both have a lot of details on Devanagari scripts, how to pronounce, etc. They are very useful. So I would recommend that first we do that in case we are not even familiar with Devanagari scripts. Now, assuming that this is not a problem, let us proceed. So at the very first level, right, Pravesha, which is Samskrita Bharati's Pravesha I am referring to, this is the fastest way to get through the, uh, you know, maximum of Sanskritam in a short time. So that's why I've chosen Sanskrita Bharati because the whole thing end to end, you can complete in two years if you're a serious student. So the first level is Pravesha, duration is six months and the minimum studies, right, is you'll have to complete the Pravesha course in Sanskrita Bharati. You can use uh, the... Uh, uh, the link here, which is the Sanskrit from home dot uh, or course on Pravesha. This covers basic Devanagari script in detail and it contain it has basic sentence construction and the entire Pravesha syllabus is covered and it's really comprehensive and very good. I, apart from, of course, attending the in-person classes on Pravesha, you can do this. Uh, then for the further studies, right? Uh, very important to focus on Shabda Rupas. The reason is, uh, I find that any of these exams, they don't insist really on getting by heart, uh, the Shabdas. And if you don't get the Ajanta and the Halanta Shabdas by heart, you will really start struggling as you go into Parichaya Shiksha levels because you will not be able to um, you know, derive Shatra Shanach forms, etc. And it will become very, very difficult. So an easy way of learning Shabdas as well as Lakaras is, uh, this is what I tried and it helped, is just record it on your uh, phone, an iPhone or any other phone and just put it on this repeat mode and just when you're walking, keep listening, you will be able to get the Shabdas and the Lakaras by heart. Lakaras, at least the basic Lakaras, like uh, say, um, Lung, uh, uh, lung, lut, lut, and load. And uh, the optional studies here at this level is 
if you want to improve your vocabulary samskrita shri book 1 2 3 and 4 are very very useful and 2 3 and 4 you can use for translation also and improving the vocabulary so i have given that link also here this is from kanchi kamakoti peetam and the books are available for actually download so you can just download them or you can buy them also whatever works for you but this is optional at level 2 parichaya the duration is about 6 uh, months and uh, the minimum study is of course the parichaya sanskrit bharati course and of course on sanskrit from home.org we will in, uh, shortly maybe be announcing a course and then on the uh, coverage itself what are we covering here because in case you are doing some other uh, course from some other institution uh, basically kartari karmani prayoga is covered in detail and i think Uh, it's done quite comprehensively, and if we do a good job at learning this, it will really be useful in the long run. And for further studies, um, I would recommend using the Rashtriya Sanstan books because there are a lot of exercises, and we can do them. And also, very important is there is a product called Sandhi uh, from Sanskrit from Home dot org, which is very useful for you know uh, exercises etc. you can enroll and that way you will get really you will become an expert at sandhi because sandhi expertise is absolutely essential uh, wherever you know uh, either you study you want to chant or you want to understand the meaning or write the anvayam this is very important so it is best to focus on this at this stage at level 2 and of course there are uh, what you don't get uh, out of the sanskrit bharati courses in depth knowledge of uh vibhaktis so i would strongly recommending recommend going through this course here uh which is absolutely essential for us to understand uh, the whole the fundamentals of vibhakti in, in its entirety right i would recommend doing it at this stage because uh, we can complete it side by side and of course there is a very beautiful course on ramakatha which is ramodantam Uh, the reason why i'm recommending this course at this level is it becomes a um, kind of a prerequisite for getting the best out of the gita anvaya that we will be doing in level 3 right so ramodantam anvaya is very simple for us to follow and uh, therefore i would recommend doing this along with parichaya or at least by the time you know we complete the parichaya course it is just i think 7 or 8 sessions so even after parichaya course and exam if you want to just take a break for a week and do this it's a beautiful course right and it won't take longer than a week to do moving on to level 3 this is again duration of 6 months and again shiksha's uh, uh, shiksha is a course offered by sanskrit bharati uh, the course um, from yoma is really good very very comprehensive and this depth is required if we want to focus on uh, anvayas later on and understanding and the akanksha krama is very very beautifully done here and uh, the course has uh, uh, gita uh, so it will be very very uh, useful for us to do this as well right and we will learn uh, shatru shanach sati saptami and sandhi in detail uh, and so the gita chapter 1 right the anvaya akanksha method has been used in this text and if you're writing the exam you will really become thorough if you're able to uh, supplement it with the course from sanskrit from home also and uh, this way uh, you will get really comfortable with all grammatical aspects except alankaras chandas and samasa which you will be doing in the fourth level right and uh, using of rashtriya sanstan books for additional exercises again helps and kridanta course here a uh, very important from sanskrit from home dot org you cannot find a better course than this anywhere else i would strongly recommend doing this because if we are not comfortable with kridantas especially the lute uh, the shatru uh, shanach the tavatu iktavatu and uh, uh, anir right the very important uh, coverage here so we must try and complete this by the time we complete shiksha at uh, level 3 the optional study is especially people who would like to do translation later 
uh, I would recommend doing this Anuvada Pradipa here uh, from sanskritfromhome.org. This is a Surya Saraswati Sabha course. Of course, they have only one course. Maybe in the future, the other two courses will be introduced. Very, very useful because translation, you, it, you need to get a lot of practice. So I would recommend doing this as well as Samskrita Shri has a lot of exercises. Uh, you can use that. At level four of uh, Kovida, uh, which is again a duration of uh, six months, but it is really intense if you have to complete it within six months. Uh, the coverage is um, Samasa, Alankara, Chandas, Sananta, uh, Nijanta, Natvam, right? These rules are really in depth. Um, sorry, I haven't used diacriticals here, uh, so excuse the typos here. But very, very important uh, course, and I would recommend doing it from sanskritfromhome.org uh, Sanskrit because uh, if you want to learn uh, the samasas along with the rules in its entirety, I think it's better to go through this course properly. Right? And uh, Raghuvamsha Yoga 2 is done in depth here, and the Akanksha method is used for the Anvayam. Absolutely important to uh, you know, focus on this and understand so that future um, any other you know simple uh, say verses or even say for that matter when you're studying panchadashi right uh, it is it will be easy for us to write the anvayam down as we uh, do the courses even if we do it in english or if you're attending swami paramarthananda's classes or any of them it will be very very useful and uh, the chandas here there's a course here which will be very useful for uh, um, say for instance an example viveka chudamani uh, the meters vary so much within viveka chudamani so an understanding of chandas will help us actually chant them in the right uh, meter so that is why this course becomes very very important and highly recommended are at least the first two chittur exams parichaya and abhigna because uh, it gives us a very good grounding and in Abhigna we will be doing uh, Raghu Amsha Sarga 12 so it is very very useful. Uh, optional and I wouldn't really recommend because it's extremely time consuming so the Chittur for the rest of the levels 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th levels but selective texts from here like Mrita Sanjeevanam etc we can try and do right um, as time permits. But at the end of this, we have to be extremely comfortable with all grammatical aspects and must be at ease with uh, the Akanksha Krama for Anvaya. Very important. Uh, post completion of these, right? Um, I hear many people uh, saying that I've finished Kovita. Uh, this actually is a stepping stone or the starting point is what I feel because then you like kind of know what is the a canvas and you know what more is left to study uh, so i just put down two courses which will be useful which is neeti shatakam and raghuvamsha of kalidasa sarga 12 very useful courses and what will be the gap when we complete all this right is karakas and vyutpatti i'm going to speak about it shortly as to how we can try and bridge this gap as well and uh, uh, other than this uh, there are a few high standard courses which is like champu ramayana or balakanda which is available in uh, the vyoma uh, sanskrit from home.org site which is very useful and we could try and do one kavya with commentary example being raghuvamsha with say mallinata commentary the reason is then we know how to study commentaries and raghuvamsha being uh, ramayana we are able to understand right or um, a, an extended portion we, in fact, if we can do Sarga 12, it will be very useful. But Raghu Amsha say the first Sarga or second Sarga with the commentary, if we are able to do, then it makes us appreciate how uh, the structure of a commentary will be. So in the future, when we look at uh, Bhashyams, etc., it will be useful or other commentaries also for that matter. Um, in As far as the grammar goes, now uh, in uh, the uh, Arsha Vidya Parampara, in uh, Pooja Swamiji's uh, three-year course, I know that Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudi uh, was conducted in, in its entirety. Um, but to do that also requires significant time investment. 
but if you can do it nothing like it there are some courses already available on sanskritfromhome.org so part 1 part 2 part 1 will be uh, sandhi prakaranam part 2 will be subanta prakaranam like that we can slowly do some prakaranam so that it will be uh, better for us to understand and some of the uh, Uh, the structure of the words, how it's formed, etc. Right? And uh, Meeta Michika's uh, books, like she she's from the Arsha Vidya Parampara. She's uh, put up all these books on Arsha Vinash uh, uh, site. So I put on the link there. Uh, they are beautiful, but the only thing is, most of them are based on the sutras. So you need to take that ef extra effort to understand. Uh, the sutras and the grammatical aspects but they are very beautiful if you want you can use them as well now what did i mean by karakas and vyutpatti now currently there is no course focusing on karakas without sutras at all right so it is only with sutras on yoma sanskrit from home.org you will find a course which is karakas which will be taught the sutra way that is from ashtadhyayi uh, sutras will be there uh, but um, you need karakas in order to understand vyutpattis so what is vyutpatti right i'm just giving some example the etymology samples bhogah bhujyate iti bhogah that's karma vyutpatti right i'm not going to explain this because you need to understand vibhaktis and karakas to und and kridantas to understand this buddhihi buddhyate anaya iti so that's karana vyutpatti instrument right so then indriyam indrena srishtam object of creation karma vyutpatti like this some examples have given so in order to understand these we need this level of sanskritam and why is this important this vyutpatti understanding a to understand the meaning of the words and b more important reason is i just took a sample from gita bhashyam right this is from 244 verse number 244 of gita bhogeshwarya prasaktanam taya pahrita chetasam vyavasayatmika buddhihi samadhau na vidhiyate right so if you see acharya has written here right in his bhashyam samadhau samadhiyate asmin purushobha bhogaya sarvam iti samadhihi antakaranam buddhihi tasmin samadhau na vidhiyate na bhavati ityartah now to understand this right now acharya is giving a special meaning for the word samadhi it has different meanings in different contexts so shankaracharya says in this context samadhi means the mind therefore samadhau means in the mind or intellect vyavasayatmika buddhi means a firm spiritual resolve doesn't take place right so and unless a spiritual resolve comes one will not find time for bhagavad gita classes or you know equipping oneself with sanskritam to understand the bhagavad gita right so just an example so samadhau is in the moolam so samadhiyate asmin purushopa bhogaya right so he gives the derivation of the word samadhi he has to give the derivation because in this context samadhi is having a special meaning and so he says it's derived from the root sam a dhi to take place samadhi means to place and it is saptami vyutpatti or adhikarana vyutpatti that means samadhiyate refers to a place in which everything is placed for our experience so samadhi is the name of a place a locus in which everything is placed for human experience now if you want to uh, take a look at it it is there in uh, swami ji swami paramartha nanda's uh, gita bhashyam classes i think it was uh, 57th class or 47th class i forget i think it's 57th class uh, which is explaining uh, the verse 244 so i just wanted to give you a sample as to why this level of sanskritam is important now this level of sanskritam is important for teachers who are going to use the bhashyams understand the bhashyams and teach and also there will be advanced students who want to understand the bhashyam at this step for these kind of people we definitely need karaka vyutpattis etc Uh, we are uh, looking at uh, you know seeing if somebody can uh, uh, create a course on this because otherwise it's uh, it's a little difficult we can uh, kind of understand this level of sanskritam by going through the bhashyams but if you want to get it right in a structured manner then this 
understanding vipattis becomes important for which karakas vibhakti and prudandas all three are very very important now some further resources which we can use uh, i uh, swami paramartha and ji vichara sagram in sanskrit medium right 300 hours are available on the shastra prakashika app so it makes us familiar with the vedantic vocabulary i would say because all that we study is all from kavyas right and uh, very different sanskrit vocabulary so if you want to improve this vocabulary uh, the vedanta parampara vocabulary this is a very good option there are 300 hours there and uh, the other thing is um, shingiri acharya regularly gives us anugraha bhashanams in sanskritam so i just put down the first one but it's a series one day loka guru series so if you could listen to them also the familiarity with sanskritam beautiful lung usage etc we will be able to absorb there are also talks in sanskritam on this channel right and uh, very uh, many experts have spoken here on very topics very useful right and there's also one other course which i wanted to mention here if somebody wants to do effective parayanam right through understanding sandhi and how to split this is a very good uh, course in case you want to do now most importantly i wanted to speak about this site ashtadhyayi.com um, from the morning to evening this site is open on my laptop i don't know what i would have done without this site and i have uh, put up a youtube video on how to navigate the site especially the beginners who get overwhelmed by the site it's a very very useful site and it's a huge time and space saver because when we are uh, doing our studies right uh, if you just want to quickly go look up say datu pata and you want to see how to you know um, what kind of uh, um, lakara usage is there in lit or lung or something very very useful right and uh, similarly if you also want to uh, you know look at uh, uh, shabda pata immediately you want to just look at some um, uh, pulling a word or something very useful and it also has another advantage it has uh, the kosha itself here and it has amara kosha also here so if you want any word right uh, for that matter uh, you can you can just go and type any matter any uh, word and you will be able to find all the dictionaries together in one place this is of course a very high level uh, uh, you know um, uh, high level points that i showed here but there is a lot here and you can see some of them in my, in the video that is there if you want to understand how to navigate and how to make the best use of this site uh, i use it almost on a daily basis and all the time i also have the app downloaded on the ipad and iphone so that whenever i want wherever i am i can use it um, so i think i have shared uh, enough of my experience and uh, in case you want to know more about uh, any of these uh, feel free to reach me at uh, vedanta satsanga uh, v d a n t a s a t s a n g h a at gmail.com dhanyavadaha uh, i hope you found this useful thank you